Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of polynomials, we shall learn how to use long division method to divide a polynomial by a monomial. Now this is the question which we will take up in this video that is divide the following polynomials by a monomial using long division method. Also write the question and the remainder. Now there are three parts to this question. Now before we start with the questions, let us keep in mind the three steps which are involved in long division method. The first one is division, second is multiplication and third is subtraction. Now let's start with the first question. It is given minus 8x cube plus 6x raised to power 4 minus 4 plus 12x to be divided by 2x square. That means we will divide a polynomial by a monomial. So first of all, we shall write the polynomial in the standard form. That means each term will be written according to the decreasing order of the power. So we shall write like this 6x raised to power 4 minus 8x cube plus 12x minus 4. This is the standard form. Now we shall set the problem. The divisor will come outside and dividend will come inside. So we shall write 2x square outside and the dividend that is 6x raised to power 4 minus 8x cube plus 12x minus 4 inside the bracket. Now we shall start with the long division. There are three steps involved in the long division. First step is the division. Division of the first term of the dividend by the divisor. That is 6x raised to power 4 upon 2x square which is equal to 3x square. Now this 3x square we shall write in the question. Now we shall move to the second step that is multiplication. Multiplication of the divisor and the question that is 2x square into 3x square we shall get 6x raised to power 4 which we are going to write below 6x raised to power 4 which was in the dividend. So next step is subtraction. Now we will subtract both. So we shall write minus sign below plus 6x raised to power 4 and we shall subtract. When we will subtract 1 is plus 1 is minus so both will get cancelled and we will get 0. Now further we shall bring down the next term of the polynomial that is minus x cube and we shall go through the entire three step approach of long division again. That is first step is division. Now we shall divide minus 8x cube by 2x square and we shall get minus 4x which we will write in the question. Now we shall move to the second step that is multiplication. So we shall multiply 2x square into minus 4x and we shall get minus 8x cube. Now third step is subtraction. So we shall subtract minus 8x cube from minus 8x cube. Now minus and minus will become plus. So it will cancel out and we will get 0. Now further we shall bring down the next term in the dividend that is 12x. Now the power of the variable that is x is 1 over here which is less than the power of the variable in the divisor. It is x square. So whenever we get a term which has the power less than that of the divisor we stop the division over here and we will just bring down the rest of the terms which are left of the dividend that is over here minus 4 is left so we shall bring it down. So 12x minus 4 will be our remainder and the question is 3x square minus 4x. So always remember we have to stop the division whenever we get a term whose power is less than that of the power in the divisor. Now we shall take up second question. It is 5x raised to power 10 minus 9x raised to power 8 minus 9x raised to power 5 plus 7x to be divided by x raised to power 5. Now it is already in standard form that is 5x raised to power 10 then 9x raised to power 8 minus 9x raised to power 5 then plus 7x. This, these are all in decreasing order of the powers of x. Now we shall set the problem. The divisor will come outside and dividend will come inside. So likewise x raised to power 5 will come outside and the dividend which is 5x raised to power 10 minus 9x raised to power 8 minus 9x raised to power 5 plus 7x will come inside. Now we shall start with the long division 
and uh, we will start with the first step that is division. Division of the first term of the dividend divided by the divisor. That is 5x raised to power 10 should be divided by x raised to power 5 and we will get 5 into x raised to power 5. That will become our quotient. So we will write in the quotient space we will write 5x raised to power 5. Now the second step is multiplication. So we shall multiply x raised to power 5 into 5x raised to power 5 and we shall get 5 into x raised to power 10. So we shall write this below 5x raised to power 10 which was given in the dividend. And we, third step is subtraction. So we will put minus sign and we, we shall subtract both. So 1 is plus, 1 is minus, both will cancel with each other and we will get 0. Now we shall bring down the next term of the dividend that is minus 9x raised to power 8. And we shall go through the three step approach of long division again. The first step is division. So we shall divide minus 9x raised to power 8 by the divider, divisor that is x raised to power 5 and we shall get minus 9x cube. So that we will write in the question. The second step is multiplication. Now we shall multiply x raised to power 5 into minus 9x cube and we shall get minus 9x raised to power 8. So we shall write that below the what we had brought down that is minus 9x raised to power 8. Now we have to subtract both and we know that minus into minus will become plus. Now one term is one, minus, one term is plus. Both will cancel with each other and we will get zero. Now we shall bring down the next term of the dividend that is minus 9x raised to power 5 and we shall go through the process of three step again. Now we shall divide minus 9x raised to power 5 by x raised to power 5 and we shall get minus 9. The second step is multiplication. We shall multiply minus 9 into x raised to power 5 and we shall get minus 9x raised to power 5 which we are going to write below what we had brought down that is minus 9x raised to power 5. Now we shall start with the third step that is subtraction. We shall subtract minus 9x raised to power 5 from minus 9x raised to power 5. Now minus into minus will become plus. Now one term is minus, another is plus. So they will cancel it out and we will get 0. Further we shall bring down 7x. Now the power of x over here is 1 which is less than the power of x which we have in the divisor. In the divisor we have x raised to power 5. So whenever the power uh, of the variable which we get in the remainder is less than the power of the div uh, variable in the divisor we stop the division. So this becomes our remainder that is 7x and the question is 5x raised to power 5 minus 9x cube minus 9. Now let us move to third part. It is divide 5z cube minus 6z square plus 7z by 2z. Now if you observe the polynomial that is the dividend is already in standard form that is it is already in the decreasing order of powers. We have 3, 2, 1. Now we shall set the problem. The divisor that is 2z will come outside and the dividend that is 5z cube minus 6z square plus 7z will come inside. Now we will start with the three step approach of long division. The first step is division. So we shall divide the first term of the dividend by the divisor. We shall write 5z cube upon 2z which is equal to 5 by 2z square. So we shall write 5 by 2z square as quotient. Now we shall move to the second step that is multiplication. We shall multiply the divisor with the quotient and we shall write 2z into 5 by 2z square is equal to 5z cube. Now this 5z cube will be written below the first term of the dividend. And now we shall move to the third step that is subtraction in which we will subtract both the terms. That is 5z cube minus 5z cube. Both will cancel out with each other because one is positive, one is negative. We shall get 0. Now we shall bring down the second term in the dividend that is minus 6z square. Now we shall start with the three step approach again. The first step is division. So we shall divide minus 6z square upon 2z and we shall get minus 3z. Now we shall move to second step that is multiplication. So we shall multiply 2z into minus 3z and we shall get minus 6z square 
which we are going to write below minus 6 z square which we have brought down. Now we have to subtract both and minus and minus will become plus and one is my negative term, one is positive term, both will cancel out with each other, we will get 0. Now we will move further and we will bring down 7z. Now again we shall go through the three step approach of long division. We shall divide 7z by 2z and we shall get 7 by 2 which we will write in the question. Then we shall move to the second step that is multiplication. We shall multiply now 2z into 7 by 2 and we will get 7z which, which we will write below 7z which we have brought down. Now we will move to the third step that is subtraction. We will subtract both of them. One is positive, one is negative. So the remainder will be 0. So over here the question has come 5 by 2z square minus 3z plus 7 by 2 and remainder is 0. So hope you have understood all these questions related to uh, use of long division method in solving uh, polynomials. Thank you everyone.